Hi everybody, Shannon and Karen here with Wandering Out Yonder. We are here today in Big Springs State Park, um, checking out some of the trails. One of the trails we wanted to look at is called, I think, the Tunnel Trail. And I believe there's an old railroad tunnel at, uh, tunnel at the end of this trail that we were interested in seeing. So we drove up here to check this out today and to check out this forest. So we hope you'll join us. So again, we are at Big Springs State Park. We just pulled into one of the day use areas, I believe. Anyhow, there is a marquee here that talks about this particular state park, the Traveler's Rest and Trailhead for the Hemlocks. So there is an old growth hemlock uh, forest here, or I guess a grove of hemlocks here. And from what I understand, I haven't, I haven't gone down the trail yet, but um, there's not a lot of them left in this area. But anyhow, it's pretty interesting. Take a look at these old cars. This used to be pretty popular. And of course the CCC camp was here. And yeah, you know, this gives you some history of it. It says stagecoaches traveling over the mountain in the 19th century stopped here to rest and water their horses. Pretty cool. I turned you around so you can see the trail. We're getting ready to go. Looks like it goes uphill up to this ridge so that's where we're going and there is a parking area over here there's quite a few trails that run through here there's also a restroom off of a trail out that way so and we haven't been down here yet so we're not sure what's down there but we are heading up this trail and it is called whoops the tunnel trail again this is called the tunnel trail and it kind of goes up this ridge and it's pretty rocky uh, we started to head up here without our trekking poles but because it's snake season and a little bit rocky we thought we'd bring them along just they're safe and sorry but not a difficult trail just rocky a little bit steep Anyhow, I think we are walking on top of an old railroad bed, maybe. Um, and I think, don't know the, all the history of this at all, but I believe it was an abandoned tunnel from the railroad days. And kind of reminded us of one that we found in Buchanan State Forest. We are in Tuscarora State Forest today. So we've come upon a staircase. <laughs> that we're going to go down. As you can see, there's a sign down here that tells you which way to go on the tunnel trail. So I think we've reached the end of this trail. Haven't gotten up there yet to see where it goes, but that looks like possibility of an abandoned tunnel area to me the bugs today are horrible so we're swatting bugs this, this is pretty cool okay so we're gonna head up on this little hill and see what's over the top of it Guess what? I'm gonna 
So I lost my shoe halfway up that hill. <laughs> I had to stop and put it on. But we are now, I'm pretty sure now, this is probably the top of the railroad bed here. That's what I would say that this is. So we climbed up that little hill. Now we are up on the uh, railroad bed. So pretty cool. As you can see all around you. Slopes down into the woods over here. I'm not sure which railroad company this belonged to. I'm pretty sure this was an, an abandoned tunnel and railroad bed area. It's abandoned by the company that built it, as were quite a few of them back in the day. So we've reached the end of the trail where the tunnel is. As you can see, they have it fenced off. So they probably don't want you going back in there. And I would imagine during heavy rains, this is probably kind of treacherous through here. So once we get up here, I'll videotape some. So this area was in, constructed by the Pennsylvania Conservation Corps. So thank you guys. As you can see, we are in front of the old tunnel. There's the top of the ridge right there. See it going around. And then this was the tunnel. So this is the opening of the tunnel. You can feel the cool air coming out from underneath the ground here. It's just awesome. It's really hot and humid today, so that air is inviting. But as you can see, that's pretty cool back in there. A little bit spooky. Yeah. Seems like 30 degrees cooler. Yep. Okay, so one of the things Shannon and I talked about, and we're, we're heading back to Fran now, but down the, down the trail. But one of the things that we, we learn something on every trip we take, we always forget something or whatever the case may be, but we always learn a little bit of something every time we go out on the trail. And today's lesson was we forgot our bug nets for our heads because it's pretty darn buggy out here today we probably would have used them and we forgot our headlamps so we couldn't go inside the tunnel so but it was kind of a last minute decision to come here we weren't really planning on anything much today we're glad we came though it's pretty cool even though we forgot a few things still pretty cool so thanks everybody for joining us today. Uh, again, this is the Tunnel Trail. And we are in the Tuscarora State Forest at Big Spring State Park. <laughs> yes, Big Spring State Park. Um, it's a very hot August day and it's really hard uh, in the month of August to get out and hike because of the heat and humidity. So uh, we kind of picked a, a real short trail because 
One of the things Shannon and I love is to get out in the woods. And sometimes you just have to get out in the woods no matter what the temperature is, what the humidity is, how cold it is, if it's raining. Sometimes you just have to get out. So that's what we did today. And we're really glad that we did. We got to see something really interesting. Anyhow, we, we appreciate you guys coming along with us. We appreciate you wandering out yonder with us. And we'll see you later. Bye. And just like that, we're back at Fran.